Hello, I've been trying to make the tunic top from the Great British Sewing Bee and I was fine until it got to step seven, stitch the facing in place along the armhole edge and I got really stuck and I spent an evening trying to sort it out. And I've just managed to do it. So I thought I'd share it with you. So, this is the side that I haven't done yet. And I've got my facing. And I couldn't work out how to pin it and stitch it so that the stitching was hidden inside. So this is what I did. Turn the top inside out. So I've got my back, my front, my armhole and my facing. So I started off by <laughs> Hang on. Right, I don't know if you saw that. So that's my shoulder opened out. Put it all the way around on itself. All the way around on itself. So you're making like a tube. <laughs> she says. It's quite tricky. Right sides together. Poked it through. <laughs> Try again. Right sides all the way round. Pin it quick. Right, so I've got them round on themselves. So I'm going to grab it. And pull it through. So now those are the edges I need to pin. So it's a bit tricky. I'm going to pin it like there. I'm just going to take my raw edges and pin them. I'm just following my raw edges. So here 
I've got my side seam and the centre seam of my armhole. I'm going to pin those together to make sure they line up. Just keep going. Right, so you can see now that what's happening is that the edges are coming together. I'm sorry, you can't see that. But it feels like I'm running out of fabric. So just keep gathering your edges. And pin them. And this is where it gets tricky. So I'm just going to push that material back through on itself, grab my raw edges and pin. Okay, so now I'm turning the inside of the shoulder seam inside out on itself. So if you think about it, you're making a tube and you're trying to stitch on the inside of that tube. So again, I'm just gonna hold it, pull some more fabric through. Pin my raw edges. Whoops, that pin's coming loose. Oh, that's okay, I don't need that one. Okay, so now I'm nearly back at my shoulder seam. I'm gonna keep pulling it through. There's my first pin that I started with. That is my shoulder strap completely inside itself. So now I'm going to stitch it. And you just have to feel and make sure that you're not going to get any fabric caught up inside where you're stitching. In fact, that feels like it's rather bunched, so I'm just going to put it through a little bit further. just feeling and make sure that the fabric is not in the way. side seam coming out, just going to make sure that's nice and smooth underneath. And I'm just turning the garment as I'm going. And you can see here, it's starting to get difficult because I need to pull it back through the other way. There's my shoulder strap. 
see that's the piece that bit that I've stitched and this bit has yet to be stitched so I'm just going to go as far as I can side of my shoulder strap. I'm just going to keep pulling the fabric through. Again make sure none of that fabric inside is caught up. Okay and now I'm pulling it through a bit more. And there can you see that's my shoulder seam. So I'm just going to carefully to be quite careful at the shoulder seam make sure all that fabric on the inside is out of the way okay I'm gonna oh, it feels like there's something there there we go just put it to the side look great seamstress as you can tell. I'm gonna trim them off. Okay and now I'm going to put it through, smooth it down, turn the garment the right way round. You can see that it's stitched all the way around. There's no, there's no line of stitching there. Then you just need to give it a really good steam press to tuck that side in. And then once you've ironed it, it'll look as neat as the side that I'd done earlier. So I hope that helps because I spent an evening trying to sort that out and I'd nearly given up hope. But today I had a wave of inspiration, so I hope that helps you.